Welcome back to Virginia This Morning, live right here on CBS 6. We're so happy to be with you this morning. It's a very exciting time for our next guest, who we've featured many times over the years on Virginia This Morning. He's been with us in studio. Well, he's very proud of his new network that he launched recently, and Andreas White Murdoch spoke with him, this seasoned television actor, filmmaker, and entrepreneur. Here's that conversation with Tim Reed. Today, I'm honored to be joined by the legendary television industry icon and filmmaker, Tim Reed, as he announces the launch of the Legacy of a People Network. Good morning, Mr. Reed. Good morning. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be with you, of course, a huge fan, and I'm so excited to hear about your newest project, The Legacy of a People Network. Now, now more than ever, it is critical that we tell multicultural stories, and that's what you're aiming to do with this network. So tell me, in your words, what inspired you to this project? Well, uh, uh, what inspired me was I looked around at the, um, the entertainment field of, of, of play right now. And of course, the internet, and the new 5G, all of this stuff is happening so quickly. And, and there's so many things out there influencing the millions and millions of people, billions of people who watch television wherever they may find themselves. And I realized that in that big rush to, to, to get this information out there, very little of it had to do with our view of the world. When I say our view, I, I mean people of African uh, descent, the African diaspora, as, as we, I call it, wherever they find themselves, wherever they live in the world. And so I said, I want a network that, uh, or at least an opportunity to show some of the documentaries that I have been making over the last 20 years, uh, new stuff. Um, I travel a great deal. As a matter of fact, I had just gotten back in town from the uh, continent of Africa when uh, we were locked down. Um, and I, I wanted to show what, um, what was going on in the world uh, with other people of color and the kind of hopes and, and, and aspirations and all the things that they're going through and let there be a place for some of the young people, uh, emerging filmmakers that I've been working with to have their material shown. So um, I'm not only, it's not a, a vanity project, it's actually gonna be filled with content from uh, the continent of Africa, Ethiopia, South Africa, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, Capo Verde, um, London. And it's going to be content from a lot of the young people that I've worked with over the last 14 years as I traveled with Legacy of the Media Institute and where I've mentored a lot of young filmmakers. Well, they're now winning awards and making movies and sh shooting sh uh, short films. And I said, let's all come together and have a showplace. And it's so inspiring that you're working with people that are really learning under your tutelage, of course, but also who are focused on telling these amazing stories. And you mentioned that you were going to be working with them, but also that you would be sharing some of the pieces that you have done in the past. So what kind of content can we expect? And in my reading and research, I saw a wide variety of things that would appeal to many different audiences of many different interests. So tell us about that a well, it, it's a basket of plenty. I mean, we, we're following more of a, I would say, a, a mini Netflix. In other words, uh, there'll be documentaries, uh, there'll be fashion, and there'll be lifestyle shows. Uh, there will be, uh, we call it uh, stories from the motherland, which would be uh, content coming from Africa, uh, short stories, uh, movies. Um, there will also be a little comedy, and we a thing that I'm, I'm, I'm putting together called She Speaks. And She Speaks is going to be literally a place where women of color uh, have an opportunity to control not only their vision and what they want to say, but use their talents, singers, spoken word artists. Uh, I'm going to shortly, we'll be in another week or so, we'll be putting up a piece I did a while back with Nikki Giovanni. I want to start with her and let that be a place where um, uh, women of color have an opportunity to speak their mind. I'm not sure we'll all want to hear what they say, but <laughs> they're going to say it. Um, and things like that, we have short stories because the majority of filmmakers outside of America, they learn their craft shooting short stories. They don't have the funds or the connections with an industry yet to be able to do feature films in any great numbers. So a lot of the filmmakers I work with uh, have won awards, Venice Film Festival, the first African to ever win a Venice Film Festival award to Lion, was someone that uh, came to my studio when I had it in Petersburg and trained with me for weeks. 
uh, 10 years ago. Now he is a formidable filmmaker across Africa. Uh, people in London, young filmmakers that I brought over to Virginia from London, or I went over there and worked with him. So you'll be seeing movies, you'll be seeing, but we're going to do movies a different way. Um, rather than just showing a movie, we're going to have some contextual conversation. Uh, I have a host, much like Ted Turner Classics, where you get a, a bit of what was going on in the world when this movie was made racially, what was going on with the people who were doing it, and where are they now, and what has been going on with their life, what kind of contextual relationship did the movie maker have when making a movie then we'll show the movie uh i think a lot of, a lot of people just throw especially classic black films they just throw them up there and it's over but you don't have a sense of what was was going on movies like native son the one that uh, richard wright actually starred in uh that was a pivotal uh, movie and had something to do with the beginning of the civil rights movement in terms of the the kind of mental state that black people were in at that time and what was happening to them in the country um, this is a movie way before its time, but it's talking about what's happening now, the brutality, the, the insensitivity. So it's going to be a place for that. As, as I say, it's going to be a world that uh, you see through our eyes. Um, and that's, that's what we're going for. Well, I am excited because the, the content is rich. The story is colorful. And it's going to be so important that people of all backgrounds have an opportunity to really see the makings of these incredible stories as yeah. well as the story itself. So how do we make sure that we're in the right place to access the Legacy of a People Network? Well, we, we, of course, we just launched. I wanted to get it up. You know, it's like having a baby. I wanted the baby up and now we'll teach it to walk. Um, but right now we're starting on a platform uh, called GFN TV uh, on the internet. And um, uh, you go there and um, uh, there's a link that I'll, I'll give you and you'll put up and you can go straight to Legacy of a People. Um, we'll also be moving over to Royco, we'll be on Apple Plus and all those, all those platforms will be available in, in some, some measure of content. A lot of our content has already been asked for in other countries. We, we're sending a, a little bit of our fashion stuff to Ethiopia. Uh, there's another channel starting that wants to run a, a couple of our cooking shows. So um, uh, we're advertiser based. So it's free to, you know, it's not a subscription base. You can just tune in and, um, and we're growing. I mean, there will be something added. I'm trying to add something almost every week or every other week, there'll be some new stuff. Again, in the Netflix model, there'll be constantly added uh, uh, content. It's not one of those things where you go to and everything you saw a month ago is still there and you're nothing new. Uh, we're going to be adding <clears throat> content uh, constantly as these young Perfect. people bust up making. Well, I just love it. We are so excited to, to access the platform, to see this content just coming to life before our eyes. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. And uh, watch. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, for those of you who'd like to watch the Legacy of a People Network, we'll be posting more information and access links on our website, wtbr.com slash VTM. <laughs>